So welcome back. These are the two devices I want to highlight again. The Williams Royal Airway. Specially designed. Looks like a Goodell, but it's not. It's designed to allow an ET tube to go in. 6.5 to 7.5. The tighter the fit, the more lube you need. And this is a Rotex device. Right? For all intubation. So I show, I'll show you how I put it in the mannequin right now. Okay. So. So. Like an OPA. Hopefully it's been numbed up in the back of the throat. Hopefully it's been numbed up in the spray. See, you can very low budget. It doesn't work as well. Here's some lidocaine paste. To work on getting this will be tolerated by the patient so they're not eating their way through. Basically, uh, an old uh, airway you can bag up to if you need to, but it's pretty similar to the bite block that prevents that $10,000 fiber optic loop from being punctured. And then this one, put in the patient's mouth, open the mouth, open wide, sir. It's a mannequin, so I don't know. Surface in his mouth. Again, these teeth dentures allow me to put this in. And once it's in, it would allow me to intubate. Despite any cumbersome obstacle by this one. Okay, see? See, I'm almost ready to play football as well. No MMA because look, the lower teeth are not protected. But this device I would consider. Use or practice in the same lab because this, when I've seen it in videos used on patients, it's very easy. Okay?